Hey, baby. How are you, sweet thing? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. How are you <laughs> fucking talking to you, Phil? <laughs> you better stop that shit. Yeah. You know you like it. What does that mean? You know what you do Sit behind down. the camera. Weirdo. Well, I'm Tyler the Painting Ass. And I'm Phil the Punish Collins. Why? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of The Oddity Critics. You were supposed to say that. Yeah. I yeah. yeah. We got to we'll get into this video. We got to go by the script. You know we don't write a script. That's fucking damn As true. you guys probably tell. Right. <laughs> but what are we doing today? Okay, so we got a comedy double feature. Uh, really quick, we'll, for our double features each week, we're going to try to do uh, a different genre like comedy, action, oh, comedy one week, action another week, drama another week, horror another week. Is that what we're doing? Animation. Drama next week? Probably. What can we do with a Japanese anime? Uh, we'll, we'll discuss this more. You know, if you think we should, let us comment know. in. in uh, or let us know what genre you'd like to see. Yeah, that too. Um, and if you haven't, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, Share. and check out our Instagram. Yeah, that too. Especially our Instagram, because you can stay tuned in all, all of our videos when they're uploaded and all that. Or Twitter. We have Twitter too. Yeah, that, that too. Check out all our social media. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing for all of them. Yeah. Anyways. What are we doing? Our comedy double feature. What is it? Is uh, a Polly Shore double feature. Who's the Pauly? Weasel? Polly Shore. Who's Polly Shore? Well, if you grew up in the 90s, you know who Polly Shore is. If you grew up in the late 90s, you probably really don't know. That's me. <laughs> but. I was born in the late 90s. Yeah. Like in Generation Z or whatever. I wish. We're Generation Fucked, is what we are. <laughs> but our two movies that we're doing is Son in Law mm -hmm. and, and the Army Now. Both good movies. Yeah. Well, let's not tell them this yet. Yeah, we'll no. They're funny. That's what they're meant to be. Especially if you have a mindset of uh, a certain type of person. Yeah, like comedians. Yeah, that too. But anyways, let's do the first one. Son-in-law. Son-in-law. So first of all, let me set up this, this story. So, first I didn't know what comedy movies we were going to do. And then we watched, we went to a concert, Simple Plan. Just so you guys know. And, Lady Titty. Yeah, and he, uh, Tyler spent the night, and um, we got home relatively early, and I was like, well, I don't need to go to bed till like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Right. Uh, so I was like, hey, let's watch a movie. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to watch something funny to go to sleep with. And I was like, hey, have you ever seen Sound He was like, no. I, what is that? <laughs> Who's Polly Shore? I never said any of those words. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> my ass cheek <laughs> but my left one so I put it on and we you know it was a movie it was a good movie yeah. you know but um, let's get into talking about it okay so, so what what'd you think I mean first of all when I said this movie or, or what not like were you like oh shit okay at first I was like it's like, it's like just one of those shitty comedy movies that everyone <laughs> tries to make but then actually I'm gonna be honest Polly Shore Help! If it wasn't for him, that movie would not be anything yeah. of what it would be. Um, so the rating I give it, I'm. I'm well, gonna, let's not get to the rating. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just. Let me fucking talk, bro. Jeez. Okay. The rating. Like, come here, come <laughs> the, 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 the left one, man. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> but uh, the rating I'm gonna give it later. That's what I should have said. Um. Is pretty much surely purely based off him and the director. <laughs> I mean, because the ba the rest of them are just playing under him, to be honest. Well, I like the uh, younger brother. Yeah, I mean, sure. More from the yeah, that's cool and all. I get it. Yeah, but that's cool. Though. But uh, I, I like I like you his. Got scripts of the Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> I like his humor. <laughs> I like his comedy, and also I like the way they did the movie. I mean. To be fair, the script was pretty decent. Um, and I mean, guess for the 90s, you know, there ain't nothing better, really. Especially for a certain type of people. <laughs> so. You know what kind of people you are? You darn hippies. Yeah. Peace and love. Can you do that? No, I can't. That, that's as close as. 
without anyone can notice me. Yeah, I know. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, but me, like, I, I saw it growing up because my parents were pretty cool. And well, I wouldn't say pretty cool because they watch just going to get ego and all that. But they literally watch a lot of movies uh, that a lot of people growing up didn't get to see. Mm-hmm. Going from horror movies to movies like this. Right. And some of the humor got lost to me on a, at a young age. Right. And then when you see it when you grow up, like, oh, that's it's actually like better. Yeah, be better. yeah, exactly. So, um, so I, I watch this movie. I wouldn't say I watch it every year or nothing like that. It's been a good minute since I watched it, but every time I do, I always have fun watching it. Uh, Polly Shore, like, even though, okay, if Polly Shore watches this, that I doubt that he will. Right. But if Polly Shore watches this, he gives me hope that. One, we can become big. And two, if I wanted to become an actor, I'd become an actor because it's not like he's talented. Or, I mean, he was a good comedian. Or, but, but, yeah. but, but as far as acting, being an actor, it's like, uh, I mean, right. he's no Leonardo DiCaprio. He's but, right for his the part he was getting. Yeah, the annoying person, but the person you know who has a good heart and uh, makes you feel... Um, right, so let's indulge a little bit into this movie. So, no. let's, let's indulge. That's kind of what he does. <laughs> I mean, kind of. <laughs> so, go for it, Phil. So, it starts off with this girl who who's a country girl mm-hmm. uh, going out to college in California. And first of all, her, her, well, her mom was like, hey, she got to go experience life, but her dad is the, the hard ass. Yeah. And all that. And, but they get there, and it turns out it's a, it's a co-op um, dorm room. Dorm, yeah. And uh, they had a little like problem at the beginning. Yeah. And then they end up. He's like like they, they go to the counselor or whatever, and he's end up the, he's the counselor. Yeah. And Paul that's Shore. when the fun Look. happens. Yeah. When he's hanging upside down. Yeah. Are you gonna leave me hanging? <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a, a, a. The reason it's funny is because it's humor, but it's pulled off in a way that like. The person saying it, like, but face. but but what it reminds me of is like one of those like Cinderella kind of kind of stories, you know, because she was, yeah. I mean, she not saying she she wasn't comfortable in her own skin, but she was comfortable where she lived, and now that she went to a new place and it's totally different, and she don't know how to. Right. Uh, but like, she had a make makeover and it, like changed her outlook on how. It she reminds me of Ed. From Ed. Ed. Stupid one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, kind of like, he he knows what he's doing, but like, no one ever believes him. Like, yeah. Like, he's but, just stupid because he's having fun. It's not like anything else. She has his boyfriend, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's funny because he knew at the beginning, because he knew what kind of person he was. That he He's forgettable kind of thing. Right. And, and he was like, well, you're going to forget about me. But it turns out that it pretty much, not that she forgot about him, because she still remembered him, but she wasn't, the, she's not the same woman yeah. she was when she left. Right. And, like, he, I'm not saying he ain't having it, but he, he is just like, he's taken back by it. Mm-hmm. And then having Polly Shore go with her to Thanksgiving on, you know, that was a, another thing. He was like, who's this guy? And what's messed up is he still trying to propose and everything. Yeah, remember when he stepped in the, the cow pie, though? Yeah, that was yeah. great. Why did you call it cow pie? Cause. Like you could use dung, poo, shit. You said pie. That's what it's called. Yeah, I mean I know, but you could have been a lot better if you said like cow shit. Cause I'm trying to I'm trying to censor myself a little. God bit. damn it! It <laughs> always happens. <laughs> it's not. There's not gonna be a time it doesn't happen. I yeah. bet, honey. Anyway, we all knew. But well, let's go to the rating. On this movie. Wow. What do you give it, Phil? <laughs> well, I will say... I will say... Fuck you. I give it... A thumbs up. <laughs> like, I've covered your face. How did... Hold on. Did that again? Again? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Damn, why is it so hard? Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Tyler, you know what you deserve? What? A smooch. Get the... Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm seeing it first. We haven't got to the rain part yet. 
Okay, so where are you going to rate this? I well, asked you, well, Phil. Well, you didn't say anything about the movie. Yeah, I did, Phil. I talked the whole paragraph. <laughs> the whole paragraph? I think that was like two sentences. Okay. That was a good movie. Well, I give this movie. Ready? You got a drum roll or something? No. A 7 out of 10. What if I would have said like point five? <laughs> I would have been, I would have been done with this. You would have just. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you hear them because I'm just fucking somebody. Did you say seven out of five? Seven out of ten. <laughs> I was like seven out of five. Come on, Phil. Listen. What are you giving it? Uh, I'll give it seven point five. <laughs> I was trying to. Do That upsets me dearly. Well, that's too damn mad. Maybe you should have gave it a better score. Let me see something. Can I sing first? Does that work? Which one are you doing? I guess it don't work. Phil, you fucking went to go <laughs> Anyway, ready? Yeah, go ahead. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways And no message could have been any clearer If you want to make the world a better place You gotta look at yourself and make the change <laughs> I had to do it Man, how are you gonna do that to the... I hope you piss everybody <laughs> off <laughs> oh, oh man I went all the, my, I pulled my heart out for that song. Oh, give me that. Give it to me, Phil. Yeah. You gotta sing, Phil. You gotta sing. Come on, man. I'm Pass singing. it on, man. You better, I'll go all the way around this motherfucker. God damn it. I'll go. I'll go. Right. Come on, oh. Phil. It's fucked up because if I try to use a sleeper one, it's gonna be over my head again. <laughs> so I can't even fucking do it. Wait, what is it? What's that? There you go. Take your time, Phil. Look, I'm Enojado. What's your song, man? Okay, my song is by a highly suspect. It's called. My name is Human. Uh, I don't even know what part I'm singing. <laughs> can, 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 oh, okay. okay, I'm doing the middle. Okay. Me. <laughs> 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 oh man, I feel like I had hot sauce. <laughs> you want some? I'll get. Yeah, I'll go. Do. I'll go get it for you, Phil. You do a dab for me. No, you gotta do it. I'm ready for love and I'm ready for war. But I'm ready for more. <laughs> I know that nobody's ever been this fucking ready for war. Hey! What? <laughs> do you need some time to think it over? No, not really. Maybe. So figure it out or don't figure it out. I figured it out. The bigger the river, the bigger the drought. Mm -hmm. Get off your knees, boy. Stand face to face with your God and find out what you want. It's fucking cold, man. Yeah, man, the reflexes are going. <laughs> Anyways, next one. What's the next one, Phil? In the Army Now! I already said it, Phil. You're too late. In the Army Now, in case you didn't hear him. But, no, I'm pretty sure they heard me. <laughs> But uh, I, so, might have blown, I might have like made it bleed so much my my singing that they can't hear right now. I mean, you're probably right. But but in the army like, now, so it's the same character. He pretty much has this job as the same film. character. Yes, yeah, or same actor, Polly Shore. Uh, he works at a television store. A short, you know, I'm just doing a short story here, and <laughs> he, he tries to fuck behind some TVs. And the guy, the pervert, ends up trying to record them for some reason. <laughs> and then they click a button like they're setting them up or something. And all of a 
sudden, that he's broadcasting across the whole thing, and then the TV's getting knocked down somehow because they're arguing. I get knocked down. Back it up again. We're not I'm seeing it anymore. Keep we're not. down. But and now they're like, we need money. We don't have a job. We want to make our own store. Mm-hmm. And they go to the army for purification. So, (laughs) he goes in the army for water purification. So what happens? Um, he's he does a lot of push-ups. He does a lot of ton of push-ups. He gets really good at Mm (laughs) push-ups. So, this is okay. So. One thing you know. Well, first of all, look no, at no, no, I'm talking, Phil. Gosh, man. But one thing you notice in this, these movies mm-hmm. is he likes to like at first you're all you kind of seem like suspect about him, but then he kind of builds himself back up and becomes like a hero in both of them, really. You know. <coughs> yeah. What'd you do? <laughs> What did you just do, Phil? Nothing. What's that? What is that hovering on? What's that run over you? <laughs> Click the one to the right of it. That's not. I don't think it likes you. Do the fires. Yeah. yeah. She's, but she's like crazy. There's at one point they were trying to save a chicken or something. I, I have seen that episode. But one of the few episodes I did see. But uh, yeah, I mean, but like they they get stranded in the desert and you know they get to their they do their mission and he ends up being a hero like the other movie. Man, let me tell you, ain't no love like Campbell love. That's true, <laughs> and you might if watching this movie you might see a a camel toe. Maybe not the ones you're used to, though. Yeah. Maybe not the ones you're used to. <laughs> it's going to be a manto like this. What the fuck does that mean? Well, I guess I'm going first. So in this movie, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. So you like some all over. Yeah. Uh, the reason That's I don't... That's what I was going to ask you. The reason I don't like this one as much as the other one is because it just seems like... No more force. Yeah, that's actually a good way I was thinking of it. It seems like it was forced as, like, they didn't really have any other options. They are just like, oh, first things first, you know, and it, it just seems like... What about the books? And it seems like they just forced all of it, like, all the characters together. Like, they didn't give them any, like, variety. It's not like they were... And then it seemed like everybody in the military was, like, assholes to them for no reason. But... I mean, have a poly shore or have... A- well, yeah, I understand. I mean, I, I'll probably be an asshole to him, too. Yeah, I understand, but there's Let no one that is. Let me get this right. You gotta tear down, uh, cut off my toe, spit it down my neck. <laughs> but, yeah, six out of ten. Okay, okay. I see what you're doing. I see. Do you? Yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of right there with you. You know, I do like some a more because I've watched that more than in the army now. I wish I could have shown you Biodome, but I couldn't find a place or with that, but I feel the same way. Uh, Andy Dick, which is his the guy, other guy, <laughs> he's not as good of a partner. Like, um, well, technically, like I said, Paul Shore kind of held some of them by himself. And I think having a, somebody else who's trying to be funny too is kind of like like semi force. Mm-hmm. Two people trying to be funny. So I'll give this a six point two five. God damn it, Phil! You always gonna up me. Yep. Okay, okay, Phil. Which is a 12.25. So what does that mean? It means, um, son law is a little bit better. So you should check that one out before you check in the arm yet. Or, arm now. you can do what you want. I mean, you can watch both, but, you know. Good luck. He's not, he's not seen him for no reason. He's not caught on fire because 
this movie, he didn't find these movies not funny. Yeah. That means if you find them not funny, do you catch on fire? No. Or find them funny, you catch on fire. Yeah. Because you're, you're bursting with laughter. Yeah. It's the heat of the moment. Yeah. Well, that's a good song. Eye of the Tiger? <laughs> no. Uh, Final Countdown. Grand Day Long Line? Iron Man. Stop this before like one of us dies over here. <laughs> Anyways, that's been another double feature episode. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell us what other uh, genres or maybe some movies that you think we should follow our social medias. Yeah, follow follow our social medias. Anyways, have a good and stay classy.